Hi, this is Julius Doctor, and this is a short video on organizing your industry. So if you're an industrialist like me, um, currently logged in on one of my alts, um, you can see the, here that I'm getting ready to make a station container blueprint into a finished product. Now one of the things to know about station containers is that they're one of the most useful things that you can acquire for yourself, even just as a general player. Um, they're fantastic for organizing just the contents of your hangar, and really they're pretty economical to make. Uh, you can see I've got 26 blueprint original copies and the reason for that is because of the fact that I produced these and I wanted a high number of blueprints to work from. I haven't bothered researching them because there's really no point. They don't take very long to make um, and really the materials efficiency that I would benefit from researching it down isn't going to net me a huge profit. Um, so really most of the time I'm making these for my court mates or I'm selling them on the local market out here in all. So, one of the things that um, setting this up can do is that you, you'll notice here that uh, it's not saying I have enough materials in my item hanger to make some. And that's because I have a number of station containers organizing where stuff lives in my hangar. So assembled station containers can be named, and here I've got them numbered so that they're sorted in the order that I like because I'm a little OCD, and that's how things go. I have a small container for my blueprints, which allows me to move them around on something as small as a frigate, and then basically everything else has its own dedicated can. Each station container has an area of about a million cubic meters in terms of volume that it can hold. So I have my high slot modules, mids, lows, rigs, ammo drones, and so on, all sorted into their own cans. <coughs> this just makes it easy for me to keep organized and to know where things are going to go when they're done. And because they're million meter cube each, unless I'm manufacturing very large things like ships, I don't really have to worry about running out of room. So I just select my materials bin, and then I make sure the output location is the item hanger. I can run 10 job runs, and it's only going to take two hours to make this, for a very low cost. Now I can do the same thing again here, where I've got my materials already set up, um, I can see my efficiency and so on, and then hovering over my total job cost, I can see that you know I'm paying a very small facilities tax. 21 ISK and you know there's a, a engineering complex bonus of minus 4% and minus 25 ISK so you know I'm enjoying the the benefits of having an ASBEL um, to manufacture these from and really this next set of 10 I'm, I'm really just donating to a court mate now I have a pretty sizable um, BPL library so say that I wanted to do another short job to manufacture um, maybe just some some basic ship hulls. Right now I just have a, a small frigate at Imperial Navy Slice 2 for getting around and an industrial that I used to go and pick up my PI runs or move things around. So let's say that I want to do a little you know tech one mining or I want to give up some mining ships to some new bros so I'm gonna make myself some ventures. So here I've got a fully researched Venture Blueprint. I can see that it's presently set for my Blueprints container. I'm actually going to change that right now. And I'm going to make sure that everything outputs to my item hanger. I have more than enough material for three runs. I can see my total job costs and values here. And I can see this is also going to take about two hours to run. Now the next thing I'm going to want to make is some mining laser upgrades or some miners uh, for those ventures. Now 
This has got a little bit of a shorter run, which is nice. Now, when those are done being made, I can take those and I can output those finished units into the uh, containers that I have in my item hand. But you can see I already have some additional station containers already set up. Now, one of the nice things about station containers is that they are audit lock secure containers, meaning that you can set a password to these to lock them. And there is a log that can be reviewed to see what was put in and what was taken out. So if I want to view the log, I can see what's been added and what kind of access has been set up. And I can search by date. In this case, I only have the two transactions. I can also set up permissions on these so that others can access them if they're in a corporate hangar or visible in um, by some other means. The nice thing about these hangers too is that it makes it so that sorting items becomes very, very easy. Now, let's say I had a bunch of different items that I, I wanted to get ready to sort and I wanted to throw these into the various containers. I'm going to demonstrate this now just by taking all the items out of here and throwing them back in the item hanger. So let's say you've been out ratting and you want to know how to sort all the random crap you've picked up, the loot, the modules, the decryptors, anything that you've gotten from scanning and doing PI, um, and you want to take those and you want to quickly sort them into the various containers you've created for yourself just to stay organized. The quickest way to do that is actually to change the columns that you're able to see in your item hanger. So right now, if you right click on any of the active columns, you have the ability to hide or view columns. Two of the additional columns you're able to view are slot and meta level. So slot gives you the ability to sort your hanger by the slot type. So if I sort by slot descending, you'll see all of the highs automatically sort into a group that I can very easily select and then drag and drop. Same goes for the lows and the mid. So this makes it really, really quick and really easy to sort what you have available to you and what you have visible. And I can actually take one of these additional station containers I'm not presently using, double click to assemble it, Right click to set a name. And then I can drag any additional items like skill books and other things that I have into that container. That just helps to keep my hanger free of random stuff and keep it clear. So if you're OCD like me and you like to have so have your you know setup running a little bit cleaner, this is how you clean it up. And I hope that helps you to be a little bit more organized in your evening. Thanks very much.